Well, it's been about a month since the Uttarakhand tragedy um, unfolded before us. We were there in Uttarakhand and uh, it's uh, really been terrible. There are a number of challenges still. Uh, what we saw, of course, was uh, dip difficult to comprehend. Uh, those pictures, uh, you know, sounds of uh, people crying, stay with us forever. Uh, and our thoughts are with the people who lost their lives. But certainly the challenges are there. Uh, one, of course, will be to give the people who've lost their near and dear ones, who've not been found till now, a sense of closure. Uh, that'll be very important uh, to be able to somehow tell them, uh, somehow maybe uh, take them there and show them the place in the near future and give those families closure. That'll be top. Uh, number two, and this challenge is going to be a big one, is of course how to rehabilitate those hundreds of villages which have been washed away, some uh, damaged beyond repair. In fact, one of the villages that we went to, Biondar and Pulna, uh, those villages, about 500 of them have nowhere to go. So housing for them uh, will have to be done. Uh, not just housing, uh, some of the, those villages cannot be settled anymore, uh, you know, because they are directly on the path of the river. The river has changed course. So that uh, will have to be decided by the government where these people are to go. And of course, uh, the last one is for the Uttarakhand government to have a comprehensive strategy, uh, a standard operating procedure on how to deal with uh, such kind of tragedies. Still now, they had nothing. Uh, I, I, I spoke to a number of uh, uh, senior officials there in the state, most of them admitting that till now they've uh, got nothing. I've got a number of pictures, in fact, uh, some of them right here on my computer, on the kind of uh, uh, you know challenge that there really is. Uh, this picture, I don't know if you can see it, showing one of the um, roads which has been damaged. There are a number of uh, such roads across the state. So building these roads, um, getting traffic going in these roads will be a huge task that the government has to undertake. Uh, hope and pray for everything to get back uh, to normal for the people in Uttarakhand and prayers for all the families who've lost their loved ones there.